In question number three, we're told the diagram shows a container in the form of a right circular cone. The angle between the axis and the slant height is alpha, where alpha is equal to the inverse tan of one half. Initially, the container is empty, and then liquid is added at the rate of 14 centimetres cubed per minute. The depth of the liquid in the container at time t minutes is x centimetres. In the first part of the question for two marks, we need to show that the volume v centimetres cubed of the liquid in the container when the depth is x centimetres is given by v is equal to 1 12 pi x cubed. We're told the volume of the cone is 1 third pi r squared height. If we just consider now here, alpha is equal to the inverse tan of 1 half. So if I just draw a quick sketch, what we have here is a right angle triangle. So if we have the angle alpha, what we can say now is the following. If the inverse tan is equal to 1 half, we can say tan alpha is equal to 1 over 2. So that's the opposite over the adjacent. So if I just apply this now to our particular scenario, we're going to have now the height of this cone as x, and then we will have this length, which becomes the radius of this circle, as 1 half x, or x over 2. So we'll have x, we'll have alpha, and then we'll have 1 half x, or x over 2. We know that the volume is going to be 1 third pi r squared multiplied by height, so the volume will be 1 third pi. I need to square the radius, which is going to give me now x squared over 4, or 1 quarter x squared, and then multiply that by the height. So we can see now this is going to be 1 12 pi x cubed as required. In the second part of the question for three marks, we're asked to find the rate at which the depth of the liquid is increasing at the instant when the depth is 8 centimetres. We're asked to give our answer in centimetres per minute correct to two decimal places. So if we consider what we're looking for, we're looking at the rate of change of the depth. That is dx dt. So using connected rates of change, we can say that this will be equal to dx dv multiplied by dv dt. We already have a value of dv dt, which is constant at 14 centimetres cubed per minute. If we read this here, we can see liquid is added at the rate of. That is dv dt. So we can say that dx dt is going to be equal to 14, and then we will have now dx dv. We can get an expression for dv dx by differentiating both sides of the equation here with respect to x. I'm then simply going to take the reciprocal and multiply it by 14 and sub in x is equal to 8. So if I now find dv dx, I'm going to differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to x, multiplying down by the power and dropping the power by 1. That will give me 1 quarter pi x squared. So that is an expression now for dv dx. So we can say that dx dt will be equal to 14, and we need to multiply this now by the reciprocal. So I can say that that will be now 4 over pi x squared. We're interested in this now when x is equal to 8. So we can say when x is equal to 8, dx dt will be equal to 4 times by 14, which is going to give me 56 over pi multiplied by 8 squared, which is 60. We can, of course, cancel this if we like. We need to give our answer to two decimal places. So straight through a calculator, we could have 56, if you're not going to simplify this, over 64, and then we'll have pi. So that's going to give me now 0.2785, so let's write this in, 0 0.2785, dot, 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 and this is centimetres. We're looking now at the rate of change of the depth, so it's going to be centimetres now per minute. So we can see here this volume of centimetres cubed, so this is going to be centimetres per minute. 
we're asked to give our answer now to two decimal places. So to two decimal places, it will be now 0 0.28. So 0 0.28, and that's now to 2 dB. And that's centimetres per minute. So all we've done is found dx dt using the chain rule. We've written dx dv multiplied by dv dt.